my house. No, it doesn't belong to you. I'm a self-made man. You are not self-made. Thank you, thank, thank you, Mama. You are not self-made. Even wherever or wherever you are today, God has planted somebody, somebody somewhere, to take you to where you are today. So please let nobody boast, because oh, a great and perfect gift, I think, is in the book of James. Good, great, and perfect gifts comes from the Almighty God, who is your shepherd. And may we may we come to the knowledge of that in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So it says Amen. other scriptures and contributions are welcome. All right. I just want us to quickly go to um hey my sister, we are we are almost finishing tonight. Welcome. So uh, I'd like us to quickly go to the book of John 10. We cannot uh, read the whole of John 10, but I, I have some summaries here for us. John 10. Uh, John 10, 10 says that uh, the devil has come to do what? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. The devil has only three, three ministries. Ministry of killing, ministry of uh, stealing, a ministry of de destruction and all those ministries of the devil don't belong to us why because the others the, the b part has told us that jesus has come to do what to give us life to give it to us abundantly therefore the one that has come to give us life abundantly yes thank you thank you my sister god bless you man. the one that has come to give us life abundantly can even uh, stick his neck, his life. He has given his life for us. Okay, he gives his life for the sheep. Okay, so he can do anything for us. The one that left the glory of heaven to come and die for you and I. What else can he not do? Over to you, man. Okay. Um. This um, when we talked a few seconds ago about people that claim that they are self-made. Mm -hmm. You know. Like you said, when you glory in anything, you glory mm. in God. Yes. You are supposed to give God all the glory. Was it I heard in the New Testament after Christ in Acts mm. that died? When people were saying, Oh, this is the voice of God, mm. you know, mm -hmm. and he accepted it. He was not the one that said it to mm. but he accepted it mm. and 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 he became and immediately warms ate his body. Then I mean, anybody that won, one is supposed to eat a, a body that has been dead for a long time. Mm. But this one does die one second and the next second. I'm oh. pretty sure that the one started eating before he died. Oh my God. So God doesn't want, you have to be very careful mm. because we do, we do a lot of it. You know, mm. says um, in, in uh, the book of Jeremiah 9 23, it says, Don't let the wise boast in their wisdom, but mm. the powerful mm. boast in their power. Or the rich boast in their riches. Mm. That is, I am a self made man. Mm. Made mm. myself. It's all my efforts I got this. Mm. You know? Yeah. God doesn't like, like uh, boasting. Mm. It is, uh, 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 it's like saying that um, God does not exist. Mm. You is know? It? Like saying that God doesn't ex exist. Mm -hmm. um, Psalm 75, 45 says, Stop your boasting. Mm. I told you. Yes, don't raise your fist. Don't raise your fist in defiance at the heaven mm. or speak with arrogance. You see? That is the self-made man too. So uh, mm. mm. uh, put their hand on their chest and Benny. say, ah, Benny. you know, see, uh, ah. Uh, exactly. Mm. So, I, I have Jude, Jude who makes it more interesting. Uh -huh. Jude wants to say, he says, ah, you know, they are they, they follow their own input. They boast about themselves and mm. flatter others for their own advantage. Mm. Ah, mm. hey, yeah, when yeah. I got there like this, <laughs> as soon as I got there, ah. I, I, it, doesn't, it's not, it doesn't only end with, I'm really talking about unbelievers. Even mm. believers do. You know, I remember long ago when we used to have, um, we were still having a minister's meeting. And they were top top ministers. I was just some. I was just a little girl amongst them, mm. and they were they were telling us about their, you know, accidents and the things they do. You know, mm. okay. yeah, they are men. I mean, men will always be men. So I learned a lot from them. Mm. But one one man said something. He said, "His this this friend of his, I say, is a pastor. 
God endowed him with so much power, you mm. know. I you know in those days when, when they do their hands like this, eh, people will fall. Oh, yeah. No, it's not juju. I don't think actually feels like that. Some some are juju, who mm. became juju eventually, but there are some who actually had that anointing. Okay. So this guy had the anointing. I was so excited about it. Mm. <laughs> ah, so he was preparing for church for a crusade or whatever. Ah, when I get there to the work by me. Can you imagine? <laughs> I would just do like this, and they will fall, and I will do like that. Oh and my God! So, when they were saying this, then the Holy Spirit said, "Eh, mm. you will do like this day before. <laughs> you will do like that day mm. before." You oh. think you think you are the one doing it, right? Exactly. Jesus. So when he got there, he did like this. You know, Nobody fell. fell. Hey, hallelujah! <laughs> You know, he did like that. Uh -huh. Nobody said. Oh my goodness. I was like, uh -uh, what happened? Me came. He did what? <laughs> he was. Uh -huh. I said, you thought it was by your power? Hmm. It is him. You know? Hmm. So, it's he like said, it's not six. Mm. Exactly. Not limited to a it's not by mind. It's not by mind. I wasn't there, mm. but I heard that uh, it happened in the in the camp long ago you when see? that thing was raining mm -hmm. when that falling down thing uh -huh. was raining wow the people began to say that that geo did not have power mm -hmm. that people are not they, yes, for, uh, they, for, they forget that God gives a power <laughs> you know according to no, his will it, mm. so he came he said that he came to say mm. so that doing that, um, Holy Ghost Night, and I said, mm. I, I've been hearing this, mm. but you know, there are thousands and thousands of people here. Mm. There will be a lot of commotion, but if you really want to know, mm. that you feel that, you know, God has not given that ability to do it. Absolutely. Okay? And then we see you now, and they saw. You see? <laughs> and they saw. <laughs> and they saw. He said, because God leads him, mm -hmm. and God knows that we reach family in the congregation of 1,500, you but see? when you have hundreds of people, and you mm. have to start fighting over each other. Mm. Uh -huh. It's it's it turned to casualty. You and see? that was when you know it never happened again. But you know, it just called this called and it happened. So what am I saying here? We should know that everything that we do mm. is by the power by the power of, uh, power is through the power of God. Amen. Okay. Amen. So that is very important. Yeah. The uh, second Peter 2 says that. They are they, they, they are they are of empty mouths, mm. empty boastful mm. words. You see, it's just empty, appealing mm. to the flesh alone. Wow, may we not be, so be empty, very, very, empty barons in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. 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 So I that think, is very important. Okay, we should always always get, get give God the glory. Amen. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Amen. I think Sister Anu is back. Yes, and uh, and before we give it back to Sister Anu, we want to thank you. Uh, I have my pastor on the on the broadcast with us. You can please uh, give us some ideas too. Uh, our mommy, Sister Yetunde, uh, our people. So we're talking about God is our shepherd. He is your shepherd. He is my shepherd. So you want to contribute, please. You can type in your idea. And I'll be able to read it out to, to, to the audience, and our mommies and daddies on the, on the broadcast. God bless you. We're waiting for you. Yes, uh, Sister Anu, you back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. So, well, we already gone far. In oh, this. we are. We, in fact, we are almost done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma. Um, and mm -hmm. so there's there's this one thing I want to um, I want to, um I want to add, and it was on the scripture you mentioned in latter parts, ma. John chapter ten. Okay. Um, and there were there were like just some well, the so generally like as as the children of God, mm. we are the sheep of Jesus. Jesus is our shepherd. We are the sheep, and yes. he leads us. He guides us. That's how it works. Mm. It's no, it cannot it cannot function anywhere else. But something this is maybe it might just be me breaking or not. Maybe it might this might just be a different like a different meaning. But I want to refer to a particular scripture in that in John chapter ten okay. verse ten. Okay. In chapter ten, mm -hmm. um, and it says that in verse two that 
but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. And I want to say that as long as you are a child of God, okay. as long as you have you have you have come to the realization that yes, Jesus is, is the king of, king of kings over your life, mm-hmm. and sorry, ma, sorry, um, oh, and as long as you recognize that He truly is the owner of your life and is your is the good shepherd, He is your shepherd, okay. and you're giving your life to Him. I think that at at that point. In your like in in how do I put in a mind like in a particular in that office that you hold, you mm-hmm. yourself become a shepherd, not the good shepherd, not the shepherd. You become a shepherd. Mm. There is a, there's a difference. A shepherd and a, a good shepherd. Those two things can never be equal. Mm. But as long as you are a child of God, you become a shepherd. It doesn't need to be fifty people. It doesn't need to be millions of people. Okay. That's the just like. There, there are men of God that we see that they have the, the people that, 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 that they have under them are mm-hmm. much, but mm-hmm. you as a shepherd, that might not be well as a shepherd. So, a shepherd is someone well from this book of John chapter 10, just like just from this book of John chapter John 10, mm-hmm. there are a lot of things we can see. Mm-hmm. There are qualities of a, of a, of a good of, of a shepherd, mm-hmm. a shepherd mm-hmm. written there. A lot. We see them there, and but time will not permit. And so we see them there. We see these 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 qualities. But at the same time, what I want to say is that these qualities that we see, mm. as long as you are a child of God, and this is like it is a mandate. It is not that when you become a child of God, you have the option. No, it tells us that uh, he that entereth in is, and I want to lay emphasis on that is. It doesn't say can be. It doesn't say that you can choose to. It is not a choice. It is a calling. As long as you are a child of God, mm. there is this. As so, like, and this, this is just something I wanted to point out that while you yourself you attain this level of a shepherd, again, this a shepherd can never be, be equal to the shepherd, the mm. good shepherd. But as long as you attain that level of a shepherd, okay. you need to conform to the truth. That God has laid down. So in John chapter ten, Jesus Jesus repeatedly called, no not repeated just like twice okay. twice or so two times Jesus calls himself the good shepherd the good shepherd, the okay. good shepherd. Mm. and what I see there is that Jesus is laying like a pattern like this foundation mm. of who a shepherd should build upon mm. and so Jesus told us that greater works will you do and what I see here is that Jesus came as an example. Telling you that this is the good shepherd. Mm. There is none that can be better than this. This is the this is the best of the best. Amen. And while you might not be able to equate yourself to this, this is the standard you should live up to. You as a shepherd, when you become born again, mm. I am the good shepherd. You will you will be under me. But at the same time, those people I have set above you use me to lead them. That's ah. just something else that I see here. Can you? Can you? Can... Can you hold on? Uh, let me uh, crave. Uh, uh, Mommy, I've been bothered. Can we, can we do this? Can we do part two of this? Because of where the teacher is taking us. Okay, ma. Uh, because I, I think she she studied for this. She wants to teach us better. Okay, ma. <laughs> I don't know if we can do part two. Eh? Yes, ma. Aha. Uh-huh. Sister Anu, because... Uh, because of our time, we want you to dish it out. We 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 need the we need more more from you. Can you just uh, spend another five minutes? Then we we do part two of this because this is this is actually uh, this is deep. Okay. So, um, uh, so, okay, ma'am. Uh huh. Um. So well, in, in the book of John chapter ten that you mentioned, ma'am. So yeah. I said there are these but there are these patterns and there are these truths. Okay. And then Jesus tells us that he's the good shepherd. And so I I just like because of time, let's lay out some 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 foundational truths that Jesus himself spoke of in John chapter ten. Okay. So the first thing, this is the no this no is no. The, we will close, but you we will do the <laughs> we will continue. <laughs> we will continue. When when is our Bible study? Today is Friday. Monday. Monday is our Bible study, right? Yes, because ma- we need to go into the foundation and you need to we need to really go into John 10 10. The all of John 10 10. Uh, okay, so ma- you can you can give us everything you you can teach us better. So we are not in a hurry. 
Okay, we can ma'am. do we can do part two of this. Thank you, ma'am. I okay. said that she will just round up because we have done all the talking. Uh huh. Yeah. So she can just round up for us, and then uh, the day that the next time that she's going to take us, she will take us through that John ten ten. John the uh -huh. uh -huh. So yes. with the foundation, with with what uh, with Jesus as an example, that the shepherds, the the the, the our. Uh, shepherds under under Jesus must follow. Do you get it? Yes, yes. The so, good shepherd and the shepherd. Uh -huh, the good shepherd and uh, thank you, ma. So we know that uh, the, the good shepherd has come to lay a foundation. Okay. What about, they are not bad shepherd, but they are under the good shepherd, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh, that will even give you more time to... <laughs> To prepare better. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, all right. So the only the last one, the last uh, verse six is what we 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 are keeping for prayer. So if you can round us up and uh, we use verse six to, to do our prayers and. Oh, okay, ma. Mm -hmm. Um. So well, from what we talked about today. Yeah. Um. Just what I saw, what I saw from the book of Jude, Psalm chapter twenty-three, that we all read is that is the fact that we, as the sheep, mm. we there is a, like we stand a lot to gain from our relationship with the shepherd. Uh -huh. And I just the, what the only thing that we can just draw out from this is that that this that before you can start gaining, you need to be a child of God. Mm. Uh, like in book of John chapter ten, Jesus mentions that there are people that. Uh, that's not this is not how he mentions it but what what he's trying to tell us is that there are people that are supposed to be in the fold who are not there yet mm -hmm. and that it is his job to go out and bring them into the fold mm -hmm. and so that, that that tells us that as long as you are not in the fold there is this like it is not i want to say that it's impossible for you to like partake of these these blessings these increments this success this protection provision this mm -hmm. uh, this divine leadership it is not possible for you to partake of it if you do not know christ mm. and that's just that's just something else that um we, we, that i see from here and concerning the verse six that i want to talk about um just like when my Bola said um i think once we become children of god and we become his sheep and we uh, uh, go under this divine authority of god uh, of jesus as the as the shepherd and we as the sheep one key that like, what we give back, just like in line with what my brother said, is that we the verse six says that <clears throat> this is what this is what verse six says. I'll read it in um International Children's Version okay. Bible, ICB. Mm -hmm. Verse six says that surely your goodness and love will be with me mm -hmm. all my life. Now the conjunction that is used here is very powerful. It says and. Mm. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So as long as you continue to partake of that goodness and love in Christ, mm -hmm. you are also in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. Which means that if you depart from the house of the Lord, ah. you no longer eat well. <laughs> so <laughs> because God's love is eternal, you can, nothing can separate us from it. So I don't want to say that you cannot partake. But the thing is that there is this dimension of goodness and love that you partake of mm. when you are in the house of the Lord mm. that you cannot partake of when you are outside. Mm. But as long as you are inside, you are you came to this these these realms, these higher levels Amen. of goodness and love. That's Amen. just that's another thing that we can see from here. And so man, um, we we need to use the scriptures to pray. Um so um and, and, you... and before we pray based on what you have said uh is there anyone for us to be able to partake of to be partakers of all these uh, benefits is there anyone under the sound of our voice that you have not given your life to Christ we want to this is a call unto salvation we want you to submit your life unto him so you can be partaker of this uh, all these benefits that our mommy will continue to teach us on Monday. So if you can say, uh, pray this prayer with us, if you have not given your life to Christ, or have you given your life to Christ? Maybe you have backslided one way or the other. Maybe you're, you're, you, you stray away from him. Can you come back?
Jesus is calling you. Jesus says, come, my darling son, come, my darling daughter. He loves you. He wants you to come back. And if you, have, if you are new, you have not given your life to Christ, we ask that you, you give your life unto him because he's calling unto you. He says, come, come, come and partake of all the blessings that I have for you. Can we say this prayer together? Jesus, son of David, I have come as I am tonight. Father, cleanse me and adopt me as your son, as your, as your daughter. I give, I submit everything concerning me unto you. Everything from my head to my toe. Father, cleanse me. Wash me clean in your blood. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Yeah. From tonight, I relinquish everything that is contrary to you. Everything that is contrary to your will in my life. Father, come, come into my life. Purge me and make me your son. Make me your daughter in the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, as you have prayed this prayer, we ask you to look for a Bible-believing church where you will read the raw, the undiluted word of God. And as you do that, God will, the Holy Spirit will cleanse you and you will be hearing from him. Amen, somebody. So join, join this beautiful family of Jesus and your life will never, never remain the same. I have tasted it and that's why I'm able, you know, to, to be here and, and telling you about Jesus. As you have done this, God will bless you. Holy Spirit Amen. will manifest himself in your life and your Amen. life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, my sister Anu. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so we're going to use, Mas, do you want me to take the prayer on uh, Psalm 23, verse 6? Or... Yes, no. everything. Yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, my. Um, so, using KJV version, um, Psalm chapter 23, verse 6, mm -hmm. it says that, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, mm. and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. Amen. Amen. Um, so now, there, is, there are two parts, there are two um, parts of this scripture. First, mm -hmm. surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And the second part, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes. So, um, well, there are two prayer points that um, we can take from this. So first, mm. let us pray that the goodness and mercy mm. of God mm. will follow us all the days of our lives mm. because it is by mercy that we live. Mm. Our works do not justify us. Mm. Our works do not make us holy. Our works do not make us Christians. This is the mercy of God, yes. the goodness of God that, yes. that has allowed us to stand yes. up to this moment. Yes. So to be able to survive as Christians, mm. there, there is a necessity for goodness. Mm. I've not just any goodness, the goodness and mercy of God to dwell upon us, to dwell in our lives. So let's Father, pray that Father, the goodness and mercy in the of mighty God, name God, of God, Jesus. Jesus. We pray that your goodness and your mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your goodness and mercy not depart from our life. Daddy, if your goodness and mercy depart from our life, we're in trouble. My Father, my God, let your goodness and mercy follow us. Follow us every minute, every second of our life. Every hour, my Father, my God, let your mercy not depart from us. Let your goodness never depart from us, from our household, from our spouses, from our children, from our family, from our siblings, from our friends and families. In the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we pray tonight that your goodness and mercy shall follow us. Your goodness and mercy shall envelope us. Your goodness and mercy shall be upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God. Oh, let your, uh, let, your, let your goodness and mercy envelope us. Envelope everyone that concerning us. Envelope every member of our, of our Shekinah crew. Envelope all our people, our family members on the broadcast tonight. Let your goodness and mercy uh, follow us. Do not depart from us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And second, can we pray that, Lord, the grace to tarry in your house all the days of our lives, 
the grace to dwell in your house, nothing moving us, nothing shaking us, the grace to remain standing in your presence, always singing your praises, always hearing your word, always doing your will, Lord, the grace to remain in your presence all the days of our lives, Lord, the days of our life, Father, give us to us in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, the grace to tarry in your presence, the grace to remain in your presence, the grace to get guidance and direction from you the grace to hear from you expressly my father my god release upon me release upon me release unto me release unto my family release unto my friends release unto my siblings release unto the unto all your children the grace to hear you the grace to listen to you the grace to trust you the grace to to have faith in you in the mighty name of jesus give unto us give unto us so we will dwell in your house Forever, forever in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, so just to round up my I'll pray. Then you can take over. Okay. Um, Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, God, for your manifestation here tonight. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for the revelation you have given each and every one of us for the blessings we are walking away today thank with. You. We thank you for not allowing us to leave here the same way we came. But I will magnify your holy name. Take all the glory forever yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now we ask God, even as we are going away from this meeting tonight, God, we ask God, let none of these words that we have heard mm. stand against us on the day of judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The grace to submit to you as our good shepherd, oh God, release upon us, oh God, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus, oh God. Let us not miss any of these blessings that you have released upon us as your sheep in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And at the end of the day, oh God, let your name alone be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. We want to thank everyone. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you because uh, the Lord will answer your prayers and you will share your testimonies with us. We will share ours with you too in the name of Jesus. On this note, we want to end this program for tonight and we we ask you, you to join us tomorrow morning on Ayomo. Ayomo, go day ito Ayomo. Agome wa uro la la manche. Ayomo teme atiti in the name of Jesus. We will not lose our destiny. Our destiny shall not be delayed. Our destiny shall not be derailed. And our destiny shall not be truncated. Our mommies uh, prayed that prayer about a month ago. So I put it right here. So your destiny will not be delayed, derailed, and truncated in the name of Jesus. We want to say a big thank you to you. And we will see you again tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, my pastor. Pastor, God bless you, sir. As uh, sister today, uh, yeah, condemn me. God bless you, and uh, oh my God, thank you. And uh, shall we share the grace? But we cannot live uh, after the grace, mommy, mommies. So okay. shall we share the grace? At the count of two, and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the sweet and fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercies shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can we personalize it? Let us say it, you know, personally. Surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Etuayomo. Good night. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.